Hello everyone, I'm JG and welcome back to Music Forever, where today I'm going to be reviewing the newest album from Dark Throne, Old Star. I was personally pretty interested in seeing what direction this album was going to take in terms of its sound, considering, of course, Dark Throne got their start back in the early 90s with some of the most influential black metal of that era. However, after a good few years in that style, the band decided to transition into some more experimental sounds, playing around with different genres of metal music, more traditional heavy metal, as well as punk music too. Though with the band's last full-length release, they decided to return a bit to that black metal sound that made them famous. I was curious to see if this new album was going to be a continuation of that throwback sound, or if it was going to be the, the band doing something just entirely new once again. And in a way, it's kind of both in a sense, because there's certainly some black metal influence present here on this project. However, it's a lot different than what you would expect from a uh, Dark Throne black metal album. Instead, the band on this thing seems to be channeling as best they can the sounds of early extreme metal music, like the first wave of black metal, early doom metal as well, even some thrash metal too at times, and some traditional heavy metal too. It really just seems like the band is pulling from a lot of older metal sounds on this thing. So in a way, this thing kind of is a throwback, but for the band themselves, it is a little bit new and different. If this album reminds me of any other band in particular, it would definitely be Celtic Frost like in their earliest years around the time of like Morbid Tales, because this uh, album here reads a lot like that project does, with its mixture of early black metal and early death metal, thrash metal and doom metal as well. This project feels almost like it's taking the majority of its inspiration from that era of Celtic Frost's career, which considering I'm quite a fan of that era of that band's career, is something I quite like about this project to some extent, and while this album isn't necessarily anything new or groundbreaking for metal music at large, uh, the band themselves are doing something different enough here for themselves on this project, and they definitely have enough charisma and energy to pull this project off to the point where uh, this project ends up being really enjoyable for the most part. It almost seems like the band is trying to pay tribute to a lot of the bands that initially inspired them back in their early days, and as a result of that, it seems like they're trying their hardest not to disrespect this sound that was a big influence on them. A lot of the guitar work across this project is pretty great. There's a nice variety of different kinds of guitar riffs that you get here. You do have some faster, thrashier, almost early black metal-like riffs that also do have a bit of a thicker quality than you might expect from these genres of music. They feel almost doom metal-like but played at a faster pace. And at times on this thing where the riffs do slow down a bit more and do get a bit doomier, uh, it sounds still really great too. I like this variety of riffs that you get here, and I like how a lot of the cuts on this project don't just stick with one of these sounds and oftentimes switch around between these at different intervals, especially the first couple tracks on this thing. I think they do a really great job of showcasing this dynamic. The opening track to this album, My Muffle Your Inner Choir, comes in with some really hard-hitting guitar parts that are probably some of my favorite uh, guitar parts of 2019 so far. Overall, it's a really great opener to the album, and I feel like the guitars are a bigger reason as to why that is. And the second track on this thing, The Hardship of the Scots, features some guitar parts that feel a lot more inspired from like the new wave of British heavy metal, like almost Iron Maiden and Judas Priest, like in nature. Uh, which, once again, they still sound really nice in the mix here, and they like how they provide some more diversity to this track as well. The third song on the album, the title track, has some of the crunchiest and doomiest sounding riffs on the entire album. Overall, this song is definitely the most inspired from doom metal out of all the songs on this entire thing, especially like early doom metal, even like Black Sabbath, uh, I feel like is a big inspiration for this song with just how this riff plays out here on this thing. Though, of course, despite the fact that this track is clearly inspired by that era of music, Dark Throne is still able to twist it into its own thing with uh, the vocals that do sound pretty different from anything you would have heard from like a Pentagram or a St. Vitus or even a Black Sabbath. The fourth track on this album, Outman, once again features some really great doomy, hard-hitting riffs that I quite enjoy, but once again the band is able to keep things interesting and fresh with the vocals that they add to this track. When it comes to the vocals overall on this project, I think that one of the high points of this project, the sound that they go for on this thing, isn't one that's strictly a black metal sound. There definitely is some black metal influence in these vocals, especially with how uh, rough they sound here in the mix and how like snarly they are at times. But I also do get a bit of a thrash metal-like delivery in them at times as well, even a bit of a more traditional heavy metal delivery too on some moments on the tracks like Hardship of the Scots, for example. It's an interesting mixture of vocal styles, but I think it ends up sounding pretty unique. And I just love how the vocals are mixed into these tracks as well. They sound really cavernous, and they just sound like they're surrounding you at all times with this very aggressive, doomy uh, delivery. 
it definitely adds to this very doomy, extreme, cavernous feel that this album has going for it throughout its entire runtime. So yeah, overall I quite like the vocals on this thing. While I quite like the majority of what this album has going for it, there are some moments on this project that I do think are a bit weaker than others. In particular, I think the last couple tracks on this thing are a bit more forgettable compared to the first four songs on it. Not necessarily that these two tracks are bad or anything, they're solid cuts on their own right. Just overall, they're not as interesting as the first four cuts. I don't think they have as many standout moments to them, and a lot of the times, they're just retreading a lot of the interesting ideas that the first four tracks have brought up uh, to some capacity. I mean, they're fine enough tracks, like I said before, but the fact that they are kind of uninteresting compared to the other songs, and the fact that they come stacked together at the end of this project makes the album close out on kind of a weak note, which is kind of a shame considering it starts off with a bang. But uh, overall, that's really the only major complaint I have with this project. It does kind of drag down the end of the album, but still, despite that fact, I think Old Star is a pretty solid album. While I don't think this is necessarily one of Dark Throne's best albums, I still think it's a pretty solid project and one that fans of the band or fans of this style of early extreme metal should check out because overall, yeah, like I said, this is a really solid project uh, through and through. So yeah, that is just my own personal opinion. If you happen to disagree, that's fine. In fact, feel free to leave your own thoughts on this project in the comment section down below. And while you're down there, make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more music-related content, things like album reviews, track reviews, things of that sort. So if you like that kind of content, make sure you subscribe. Thank you for watching once again, and stay golden.